tired, exhausted after a very tough relegation battle in Serie C. Did we avoid relegation? Did we manage to get out of the playouts? Or what happened? Peasant to Pope. Let's find out. So we managed to avoid direct relegation. We finished uh, the season on 17th place with Pro Patria. We are at 36 points, only 36 points. So we avoided direct relegation by 3 points. We didn't manage to go out of the playouts. We are in the playouts. But unfortunately, we will play with the only squad that I cannot really pronounce. Leniago. Now, let's see what will happen in the playouts. Before that, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to the channel if you like what you're seeing. Also, if you are very kind, you can share this to whatever social media platform you want. We are looking forward to go through Peasant to Pope and present you as many episodes as possible. So we got to the playouts and here we are playing Leniago. First uh, match was away at their stadium and we were a bit lucky but we were the better team here. We won 3-1 after two beautiful goals. First one was by Pierozzi after a nice cross uh, from Zanotti. The second one with a lucky flick on Castelli. After halftime, Castelli, after another cross from Pierozzi, managed to score for 3 1. They managed to reduce the difference right before the break uh, through Alberti, but then Castelli scored our third goal, so we won 3 1. Now we are in the middle of the second match where, at halftime, we have an advantage of 1 0 through a goal from Baldanzi. We are going now. To see if we can avoid relegation. Uh, we started with a very attacking mentality that at the half time we will need to uh, ease it a little bit. We will not go to overlap and focus play down the right side or left side because we are trying now to um, give a little less instruction to the team so that they will be able to uh, get the most of the match. Of course there are a lot of things that can happen. Still, one more half to go. Genova, Contini, but Capril is there to save the ball. Now, since we are uh, in advantage, it's very good that we don't have so many highlights. It's only 1 0, but 4 1 on aggregate. They have a very dangerous free kick now. Genova. Oh, he scores. Paulinho Genova. He scores for Leniago. So they got one back. It's 4 2 now on aggregate. Great shot. We may need to do a couple of changes, but let's see this cross. Gasparetto. And they score again. So it's 2 1. Let's see if we will see live how we are losing this play out. Hopefully not. Uh, so we'll, we will have to make a couple of changes. So we'll bring in Gali for Pierozzi because Pierozzi did not play particularly well. Gali cannot really play as an attacking midfielder. So I'll bring him a little bit uh, lower here. And then of course I will bring Fieta for Stanzani in order to kind of secure this with, uh, with Nico on the right side. There will be Bertoni here and Fieta will be more like a ball winning defend so I will have two uh, defensive uh, central mids here and let's try to play out of defense to try to keep the the ball a little bit more with a bit more width because I think that's what we lacked Castelli and Baldanzi we will probably have to change Castelli at some point because he was quite poor during this second leg so we are losing at home 2-1 Leniago we still have 15 minutes it's 4-3 on aggregate hopefully they will not score because this will bring the match into extra time yeah so let's uh, take out Castelli and we will bring in 
Eduardo Tassi and he will play as a poacher to win here after 3-1 in the first leg we are, we are losing 2-1 in the second leg and Zanotti got injured and I think we we made it we kind of made it yeah so we avoided relegation through the playouts we are able to avoid the relegation through the playouts so fortunately for us we will have one more year I hope with Propatria let's say what the board will say to us even though we started to manage Propatria since 30th of November so not at the beginning of the season it, they were already 16 matches into the season we will have to see what is the season review and what really happened here because what we know really is that we avoided relegation through the playouts but we already know that the team is not that good we will not challenge for Serie C title uh, it will be very tough to get into the playoffs or to have any kind of uh, expectation to uh, promote from the new arrivals as you can see a lot of these players were new arrivals uh, we only brought in Mattia Zanotti as a lone player he's the third here we brought in also uh, Eduardo Tassi who played 15 games and two appearances as a substitute he is uh, what seventh right yeah and who else we brought in Ivan Merli Sala who is signing of the season yeah very nice that Ivan Merli Sala is the signing of the season we brought him uh, for a very low fee 3k and he was very good as a center back as a uh, let's say a replacement for Lombardoni if you remember we sold Lombardoni because he wanted to leave Davide Di Quinzio we also brought him during the winter transfer window as a low knee we will probably not keep him his contract will expire uh, with his original team which I think it's Pisa yes uh, in the summer of 2022 so we could buy him for free but we will not uh, Nicolo Pierozzi would be nice to prolong his contract uh, he's a low knee from Fiorentina we also brought in Giulio Parodi and Philippe Bright but they were not really playing because they didn't convince me but we had some uh, squad death there at the center back great if we are looking at transfers out uh, Federico Gatti was uh, let's say an important one Cotarelli for Fanfula I think it's a uh, uh, team in the non-league or I don't know uh, Serie D something like this even below Franco Vezzon no sorry Andrea Massetti Federico Gatti Davide Ferri which we sold during the winter transfer window he made only three appearances as a substitute for Regina in Serie B I think Regina got relegated yes 18th place so they got relegated directly yeah from Serie B we have sold some we have loaned some outside you see Lombardoni here we sold him for 86k but he didn't make any single appearances for this Vittoria Guimaraes I think it is because they were from Guimaraes when I checked the facilities he didn't play for them he wanted to go we got the money we brought in Merli Sala in the uh, Serie C Cup we got knocked out in the first round so this was a lot before I came in 22nd of August we were just starting the same at the time so uh, we came in to manage the team in November end of November some moments to remember the fact that we won 3-1 this was our biggest win a 3-1 in the playoffs with Leniago a match to remember Pro Patria against Trento uh, 16th of January so this was really an important match because uh, we managed to get the three points it was very important the match with Trento because we were really on a bad patch there goal of the season Baldanzi uh, now on the finances club reputation is two stars here which helps us because uh, the manager that we brought in Girolamo Savonarola for our challenge peasant to Pope he has only half a star reputation so we manage a team with two stars this of course helps only 19.77 from shirt sales only 233 shirts sold Nico, Gioldi, Galli, Stanzani and Pew Pro Patria best 11 were the um, players that we 
played mostly Boffelli and Saporetti here. I played also a lot Merlisala, which was the signing of the season. Colombo, but also Zanotti was very important here after January when we brought him in as a Loani. Pizul, Pierozzi, Baldanzi and Stanzani. Uh, they are putting in a 4-2-3-1, which was the uh, formation that we played during the playouts. Young player of the season, Elia Capril, a goalkeeper that we have on loan and he will probably leave during the summer signing of the season, Ivan Merlisala. He will remain, but probably as a backup only. We hope that we will bring some better center backs. Goal of the season, Baldanzi. Baldanzi also a Loani. We prolong his loan. Top goal scorer, Davide Castelli with only six goals. We will need some better striking. So this is Rob Heath from The Athletic. I'm really happy that someone from The Athletic comes and comments our Serie C uh, achievements or lack of achievements. Because if we are going to the profile, we are studying for a Continental B license, but we are still having a reputation minimal of half a star, even though we managed a two-star team. So it will be uh, very difficult to get a three-star or three-and-a-half star team from Serie B. I hope that you enjoyed so far. We will go through uh, a lot of other details and the transfers that we will do uh, during this summer. Uh, we will also go through... Uh, the objectives for next season with the team and uh, we are still in our adventure peasant to pope if you like this don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to the channel see you at the next episode